What's going on guys? Austin Pomage or Pomage or just Austin, whatever floats your boat. And I know you guys are all are here for one specific reason, that is what I'm going to explain to you right now. Uh, why I left FaZe Clan. If you guys didn't know, I left FaZe right before Catalyst 2 was uploaded, like minutes before. It was a very hard decision and I will tell you guys from my point of view what happened and why I did what I did. <clears throat> so, remember this is not a video to bash on FaZe, I mean, I wish the best for them. This is not meant to give any of them hate, that's not the point of it, it's just, we just agreed and to, it, we weren't seeing eye to eye on things. So, it all started near the summer, beginning of summer where I had around so and so many subscribers and I started to realize I wanted to push my own brand, I wanted to become more independent with myself, I wanted to start making my own decisions, I wanted to represent myself more and more just for myself, just Pomage, not exactly FaZe or FaZe Pomage. I wanted to just be pomaged, I wanted to be more independent, I wanted to start making decisions for myself. So <clears throat> I started to not say phase in my intros, I started to not, I took my YouTube profile picture and just made it the pomage logo. Small things like that are the things that I did uh, just to sort of represent myself more and more. So I, I started doing that and then some people noticed, they, some people didn't mind, majority didn't mind, some people noticed it, was, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Excuse me. It really wasn't that big of a deal. Um, so they was fine with that. And uh, <clears throat> of course I was recording for the Catalyst 2 at the time. And I, I was still going for it. And uh, that was when SLP was editing and everything. And, I, and I, time got closer to the Catalyst 2 release date. I was like, I said to myself, this is a video I've been working on for a very long time. It is my video and I, I kind of, I really want this on my channel. Because I just, I really want it on my channel for a pretty big, for a main reason of... Uh, the old nostalgia feel kind of um so when when i say that i mean when i uploaded my very first two montages iridescent and the messenger i got a lot of feedback towards my channel and my twitter feed so that's what i wanted uh if you have to really make a montage or something a video you've been working on for a long time you upload it to your channel you get all that feedback it's very very rewarding and it's you feel really accomplished it's like a, it's a, like it's a really good pat on the back it's really, it's really rewarding. You have to really make a big video and put it on your channel, and you will know how it feels. And I, I really wanted that again, and I couldn't exactly get that on Phase Clan. And you guys are gonna be like, oh, but Phase is bigger. It's, it's different. A personal channel is very much different from a team channel. <clears throat> so, that's what I wanted. So I brought the idea up to SLP. Me and him meet, met eye to eye on that. We were both perfectly, perfectly fine with that. I made sure I didn't blindside him in any way like that. And then I took it to Seabass, and then we couldn't exactly meet. And then he brought up how Pomage, it's like you took, it's like uh, you took your logo out. It's like you don't, it's like you're not even a part of Phase. You don't want to upload really. And you guys have to realize I did have 44 like uploads on Phase Clan, uh, three of which have over a million views. One of them almost has three million. One of them has two million, and one of them has one million. So there's the first Black Ops two montage. There's Ir uh, Iridescent three and the Catalyst. They have all those videos plus all my episodes. Those all went up on my on their channel first, and it's not the same as to edit uh, to post it on uh, your channel f last. It's not the same because the views will be split up, and it's just you don't get that total feedback. So that's that was my difference, and he brought that up. <coughs> he brought up uh, you know it's like you know it's like you don't even want to upload to phase, and that's it's like you're not exactly proud. And uh, I was I was not gonna lie, they I was called selfish for wanting that, which that's I was looking out for myself. I wanted to become more independent by doing that, and we couldn't exactly meet eye to eye, so it came to the, to the decision of like, do I upload this to Phase Clan and not exactly get the the feedback and you know not exactly not entirely be happy with my decision or upload it to my channel and risk getting almost pushed out of phase or like being almost being forced to leave because we couldn't meet eye to eye on things um so it came to that obviously and so i left and <clears throat> then i posted it to my channel <clears throat> but you guys gotta you guys gotta realize you, um this i i see this world as you gotta look out for yourself a lot more i did meet a lot of people and they're like austin you know you should always remember to look out for yourself and that's what I did. Uh, I, looking out for myself and looking out for my independence and just looking out for everything that I did and all my decisions. I, I made sure of all that. Um, I don't do things without reason. I always do things that will eventually benefit me in the in the future. And if you call that selfish, then I don't know what the hell 
that even means. <laughs> I don't even know how on earth looking after yourself is selfish. It, it makes no sense at all. And I was called selfish. And uh, to, to get more in depth, I felt like my work was being taken away from me. Um, they said, you know, it's like, you, it's like you don't want to be a part of phase. It's like, you know, it's like you're not doing anything. And I'm just sitting here like, I gave you 44 uploads. Uh, all of my episodes and my big Taj is up to this point. I, I, I want one video to myself, really. <clears throat> I want one video on my channel and they just disagreed it kind of sucked because it was I, my work wasn't being recognized from before and that's what they said their excuse to that was uh we gave you a 700,000 subscriber channel like we gave you that and that's true to an extent however phase is an opportunity and uh, an opportunity should not lock you down should not hold anything back from you it's it's an opportunity. They offered it to you. You took that opportunity, and you ex I, that's and I exposed it. That's what I did. I exposed the opportunity and used it to my fullest extent. Um, that's that's kind of how I treated it. That's how it works. It's it's an opportunity. They should not need to almost feel the need to guilt trip you. That makes that's not that's not right. They were like taken away from my work of all my uploads. Um, that's what it felt like, to be honest. And remember, this is not a video that is bashing on FaZe Clan. I do not want any hate towards them. That that is definitely not a thing. It shouldn't. It shouldn't get to the point like if you guys start, if there's hate going to their channel, and they feel the need to upload a response video, it shouldn't get to that point. It should be I left FaZe. Here's my explanation. It should be done with. That's how it should be. But <clears throat> we couldn't see eye to eye, and there was uh, some unfair decisions. And I know I was promoted to the co-leader around a month and a half ago. And uh, I didn't exact. I didn't have any power. I didn't have any control over anything. I know you guys are gonna be like, "Oh, you're just power hungry." Yada yada yada. I mean, it's just like, what's the point of being co-leader if you just don't have any, you know, power over anything? I guess. So, to sum up what I've said so far, it was so sort of unfair decisions. I felt like my hard work was being taken away. We weren't seeing eye to eye. I wanted to push my own brand and make my own decisions. Uh, I wanted to keep my connections open. I saw it as an opportunity. Just as Optic was an opportunity, just how, you know, some people, I just it's, it's an opportunity from those players' point of views, in my opinion. It's an opportunity. It depends how they use that opportunity. If they use the opportunity to, you know, be able to quit their summer job, then, you know, good for them. They deserve it. They put the work in. They get it. And a team channel is not exactly to be given. It's a team effort. It's the player's effort. It's their uploads that do it. That should feel no need to use that against you that should not definitely that should not be a thing and uh last but not least it was the catalyst too we couldn't see eye to eye i wanted on my channel and they wanted on phase and if it wasn't on phase then they said what's the point of you being in phase so that's that's how it was <clears throat> um there was there's been a lot of <laughs> comments and uh i don't understand why the internet does this but the internet does what it does you can't control it it's people over the internet typing on a keyboard um it was a lot of pretty funny assumptions that happened and uh, just th sort of stories and theories and rumors. Um, I would, if I were you, I would definitely not make those up <laughs> for like theories and rumors because you don't exactly know the entire story. You guys have to put yourself in uh, their shoes, really. There's two different sides to this. There's uh, how they saw it and how I saw it. And we just couldn't see eye to eye. We couldn't meet in the middle. We couldn't like put the video on my channel and then I'd be happy. And then I would still be doing things for FaZe. We couldn't really do that. It was. It, it seemed like it was all self-centered on this one video. Even though I did upload a perfectionist to my channel, that was just a practice, if anything. I wanted to see how it would do. And uh, it, I felt like after all those 44 uploads, I felt like I was still being... I felt like I was on the same level as somebody who would upload six times in a year or something like that. It, it was It was almost... It was kind of degrading. It, it sucked... But what can you do? I mean, well, this situation, nobody really came out entirely happy in the beginning, but things do get better over time. Uh, things happen for a reason. Nothing lasts forever. And uh, it's just looking out looking out for yourself, really. It is, it is true that you should always look out for each other and yourself, but remember that it is, it is your life, and if you're not exactly happy, then there's something that needs to be changed, and this is how I best saw it fit. Uh, a lot of people say, oh, FaZe made you. Well, you have to think of it. Did they make all the videos that I made? Um, I saw FaZe as a platform, if anything. 
and I, again, opportunity, and I use that opportunity, and that's what happens. <clears throat> so, a lot of people are saying you uh, don't really appreciate FaZe and what it's what it's brought to the table. Well, I do, because I did represent FaZe at all the events. I wore the jersey, I wore it proudly. I met lots of people with it on. Uh, I still have this huge FaZe logo banner on my wall, and I'm not taking that down because uh, that is a very important part i like to remember i'm i'm very appreciative of the things like even though things do change i'm still very appreciative of the things that happened in the past i still have stickers like on my uh on my desk gift phase i still have my phase jerseys i still have my phase controllers um it's not this is not a situation where it's like oh i left phase i'm gonna burn everything that's not it at all i'm very appreciative of what they've done they gave me the opportunity and i i used it as best as i saw it if that makes any sense at all so, I hope you guys really saw or like see what I see in this decision. This is not the end. This is not the. This is not where I just go inactive and just peace out. Um, oh, that's another thing. Uh, I was a co-leader, and it kind of sucked because how I was still expected to post when there is many, many, many co-leaders who don't exactly post at all. When I was I was handling a lot of stuff, I was making sure my channel. I was keeping up with my phase uploads while recording for this. It's not like I uh, went inactive for God knows. It's not like I went inactive on phase for months recording for one video. I, I recorded other things for phase while recording for this video. I did not leave them in the dark. I just, I wanted to, I wanted to have my own independence a little bit. We couldn't see eye to eye on that, uh, which is perfectly fine. Um, things happen for a reason. Uh, I do not do things without reason. I always, I am always steps ahead, and I always make sure I have a plan for the for the future. And definitely, the future is very bright. So, <clears throat> to really wrap this up, um, I hope you guys support my decision. If you guys don't, then you don't. It's just a agree to disagree. That's all it really is. It's uh, the way I see the internet is if you just if you don't really agree with someone, then that should be the end of it. If you try and argue with it, it's pretty pointless. You're just typing buttons on a keyboard. If you agree with it and you agree with it, it's whatever. Um, tweet me, uh, comment what you think. Uh, it's always it's always great to know what other people think. Um, obviously, I did leave some things out of this that are just behind the scenes kind of stuff. A little more behind the scenes kind of stuff. Things that are, but we I think we both agreed to, uh, that are confidential. But you know what? This is from my point of view. This is how I saw it. This is how I see my future and. Uh, this is definitely not the end. This is not where I go inactive on my channel. I will still be just as active. The best part is you will find all my episodes on my channel uh, and all future projects. Uh, let me know if you guys want an 800,000 montage. Uh, let me know if you want something for 750,000. Let me know of all that. I can do another day in a life. I can do another something like that. Just let me know what you guys want to see. Um, remember, this is not a video to bash on phase. I still have very much respect for all of them. Uh, to the phase members, I did leave the phase chat and uh, without saying goodbye or anything, it was very last minute. It was very, everything was overwhelming what was happening. The video uh, I worked on very hard was about to be uploaded and I was, I was like panicking at what I was going to do. I was shaking. I was, I was losing sleep for a week over this, to be honest. And uh, I'm sorry, but goodbye. <laughs> Uh, I still have you guys added, you know, we can still do and getting tricky with FaZe Clan. It just, I won't have four letters in front of my name. Uh, that's how I see it. It's, it shouldn't even be that big of a deal, but that's what, I guess that's how people see it. They like, they like that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think I covered pretty much everything. I hope this opened your guys' eyes and you guys understand where I'm coming from. This is not the end. This is not where I'm going active again. So... Um, tweet me what you guys think. Follow me. Do all that fun stuff. I do have a new Twitter at name. It's uh, at Austin Pimage. And on behalf of me and SLP, we really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, um, that's all that matters. We just really wanted to make a very enjoyable video for you guys uh, with a very good balance of editing and clips. We really wanted to push that. We wanted to put the same effort into it, and we did. Uh, we want to thank you very much. Uh, the catalyst too will be in the description and you guys have got to give SLP so much credit for it. you really do um, he made the video what it is he made it that he made it the special way it is so I think I covered pretty much everything um, hope you guys see it from my point of view 
So, I'm Austin Pamash, and this is just the start to a very bright beginning. I, I do have some very, very exciting things planned. So, I'm Austin Pamash, and I will see you guys later.